All right, welcome back everyone to another video. Uh, today we're going to play Icarus. Uh, they have a new open world, so I'm going to go ahead and just start a new character and show you what it's all about. So before they used to have you do missions with your characters and then you always had to leave and you would lose your progression in building, but you would keep your character progression but this time there's an open world where you get to keep your build and your open world character progression so we're gonna try that so let's go ahead and create a new character I don't care really what they look like the random right now looks fine with me we're gonna do Eric the Red. Yes, yeah, so here are my currencies I have, but this is for my overall account. Uh, this is technically usable for this character, but I'm not going to use any of it. I'm just going to start fresh. So, uh, new. So here's your open world. This is the new portion of it. Missions, Outpost, we're going to try a new open world. And just by looks alone, I'm going to go with the nice river terrain. So we're going to create an open world. I'm going to try it on easy because I don't need to be level in a character on difficult. Anything other than easy, so... My prospect's name is going to be hmm. Homeward Bound. So here's the items that I have, but they're on a different character. So I'm not going to use anything. They equip you with a normal Enviro suit and nothing else. So I'm going to confirm that loadout. Looks like we have a few options to choose from. This looks pretty nice. I feel like it's going to trap us in here, though. I'm going to choose the Great River. So yeah. Go ahead and get into this. It's going to be a lot of grinding right off the bat. I recommend just running around. Hold an F, which is pick up. Staring down the ground a little bit. Uh... Yeah, otherwise we're going to try to find ourselves a place to kind of set up a little camp. I'm not going to be able to build a large camp right away, but that's okay. I will build a small little camp just to live. Okay, we can see our emergency pod dropping in. Looking around. Lots of fire. All right, we have landed. Before I even step out there and get mauled, I'm going to check the map. All right, looks like we've landed a little bit west of. I think I want to end up around this big lake, but maybe for now I'll put my first point at this Y in the road. So well, we got to get tool the first tools going right away. So tab pulls up this screen. You have your inventory. 
crafting menu, tech tree menu, talents, map, accolades. We'll get into that as it slowly progresses. Here's your item or your personal level experience. All your stats, these will increase the more the better you do. Uh, bottom left hand corner, you can see we have oxygen, food, water. This is your temperature gauge. Uh, try to keep it between cold and hot. That'll consume more water or hurt you in the cold. So yeah, we'll have to maintain it. So I'm going to slowly peek out here. I'll just start holding F so I can start snagging everything. Now I think I want to head towards that river Y. I think it's right in front of me, so we're going to slowly make our way forward, listening to all the wonderful creatures and noises, collecting everything on the ground. Rocks are important right now. It'll be the item. Rocks help you repair your low-level tools right away. I've moved a little bit. Keep collecting, keep collecting. Okay, I, s I noticed I picked up a little bit of food. Go ahead and put it down in one of my hot bars. If I hit O, I can eat a berry. And after, now that I've eaten a berry, it gives me a little bit of a food buff here. Plus 50% maximum stamina, but it does take a little bit of water from me. It's okay. Hearing some grunting noises. Keep making our way this way a little bit. I should really start thinking about making a couple tools before I get too far away. See it's blue little rocks, those are oxite. That's what you end up having to put in your suit to help you maintain your oxygen level. It'll slowly consume them. All right, so crafting. What is that in front of me? I don't think those are friendly. I'm going to stay away from him for the time being. I don't have anything to defend myself. So, stone axe. Pickaxe. I do not have a skinny knife yet. Oh no, that must mean my character. So the you'll get talents to learn how to use different items. But I must not know how to use a skinny knife yet. That's kind of scary. Just keep moving up towards this river. See what's available here. I see some fish. I don't know how to get them though yet. All right. We're gonna call this a place where I'm going to set up a small hut. Yeah, right about here. So my tech tree, I need to learn how to do a stone knife. But I have no points available. So really, instead of that, I should just go farm a little bit more. You know what, let's cut down a tree. That'll give us some uh, experience. Yeah, there we go. Leveled up, so I got one talent. One talent point. 
can hurt yourself by trees falling, so careful. Hmm. Not sure where that ran off to. spend this point get a skin and knife so I had some talents just to open up okay so first things first let's craft that skin and knife all right now I have a skinny knife so I could potentially attack something But really, I really want to just set up a base. How about just setting up a base, Eric? Stay, uh, stay focused. Night will be coming soon, and it gets cold. And there's also weather events. So let's see where our Level five for wood beams, crap. Well, I don't know if I can survive to level five. I really should survive and stay till level five. Yeah, that's that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna Oh my god. Is that a bear? Jaguar? I don't have a bow yet. Well, let's gonna see if we're gonna die. I didn't die. He did swipe me though. I don't have any wounds. Yeah, the no wounds, so I survived Jaguar, thank goodness. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chintz the system And I'm going to dig myself a dig myself a place in the stone to protect me during weather events till I hit level five. Sounds silly, I know, but I don't want to waste the resources on a crappy hut so I'm going to save the talent points and wait till I'm level 5 which I'm already almost level 2 so in the meantime I'm going to try to make a home inside of here I don't bust through the ceiling. Okay. Pretty sure I'm sheltered like that. A little 
little scared to keep hitting it. All right, so we're gonna need a campfire. Can I learn how? Nope. I need to learn how to make a campfire. Think a bow? Should I learn how to make a bow? No, I should save my points. No, I need a bow. Okay, do I know how to make arrows? First things first. Bow. I don't think I know how to make arrows. It's okay. So it says I have one talent point available. Survival, habitat, combat. So I'm going to do survival because I know we're going to have weight issues, so I want to carry more. I'm going to go with cook uh, dense packing. So now I can carry more. No more points available, no points available. Okay. See how my water is getting low? Whoa. Nice. hit level two for killing him so yeah anyways see how my water is getting low so you are wearing an environmental suit try just going and hanging out in it it actually filters the water for you and you're getting better Almost full. So, while you've, while I've been out here f picking stuff off the ground, I have somewhere found soybean. I can eat that also. I do not get. I get a small raw food buff from it. Right here. But it only lasts for 60 seconds. But if I make that fire, see how I'm repairing this tool with a rock, right click it, and then repair it with left click. So yeah. I was working on a fire craft fire. Right click deploy. Okay, not quite wide enough. So I'm going to make the entrance a little bit wider. Got to get the fire in here just far enough so it doesn't get wet. There we go. We might get a little smoke inhalation, but at least I won't get wet. Let's try it right. Interact. So let's see if we can cook some food. Oh, start myself on fire. 
Oh, is this how I die? It is how I die. Well, that was interesting. So, make a little mistake. I could not jump over the fire. And then every time I got close to the fire, while I was on fire, it reignited. So, hold the respawn. It'll get you your body. drop you down in a little pod and then you'll have to spend a little bit of time finding your body it's okay I do sacrifice a little bit of experience see in the top left hand corner all, everything I had in that level has turned orange this means I have to refine or relearn it it's okay Minor setback. Oh, and then here comes our weather. So, lesson learned. I need to make that fire a little bit farther away from my opening. Try that again. Should I try it? No, oh, let's try it again. So right now, I am safe from the weather event. We'll see if the fire is. It will go out. Well, it seems safe. All right, so this is a suitable environment to live in for the night or until you're level five. All right, let's see what this piece of food gives us. So for the next 1,200 seconds, cooked prime meat. It's nice. Really good for us. See our food buff, buff bar? This little one here is the berries. This big one here is the cooked prime. So it's really nice food. And it keeps a lot longer if you cook it. So you see, I got something in here that's spoiled. It's because the timer ran out. See how I hover over it and on the bottom of the information it says there's 570 seconds until spoil. This now has 1500 seconds till spoil. So I'm gonna move this one into my inventory. Let those cook. Close that. Wait for the weather to go away. You can see in the top right hand corner, it's 100 degrees outside. It's because of the fire. If I put the fire out, it is 76 degrees outside. 
and the storm's coming. See how it's red? I mean, it's really bad right now. So inadvertently, that's the reason I'm not building out of the cheap wood. Oh, you hear that? See it? Just knocked a tree over in front of us. The storm just knocked a tree over in front of us. That's why I don't build out of the cheap stuff right away. I remember this a year ago when the game first came out. Tree just fell over. Lightning will strike trees. It'll burn them down. You'll have forest fires. Some of the things I'm just getting rid of for now because I don't need them this early. I'll need them later, but not now. This stuff is really good. So I'll check how my oxygen's doing. Pretty good. It'll slowly fill itself. Once again, water is just simply taking a dip, sucking it in. So I have three points available still. I'm trying to remember when the good clothes come out. Right here. Level 10. What do you think? Should I learn that? Oxidizer. Bandage. Fire whacker, spear. I'll have to think about what I need next, most importantly. Arrows. That's what I needed. Crafting, arrows. Mm, that's a lot. up all my cooked food, turn off my campfire, all right, might as well harvest these trees that fell over, huh, oh my goodness, good thing I was in there, I don't even know what to say, a couple trees fell over. So yeah, I do plan on making a series of this. Uh, gonna try to bring you the, through the progression of this character. I do have another character, but I do not plan on playing him much at all. Interesting. Take a look up here in a second and see what else fell over from that storm. See any other trees? Mm, not so much. Oh yeah, a couple this way. Oh yeah, quite a few of them in there. Well, at least we saw some of the basic stuff right away. Uh, how to survive the first night. Uh, how to make a couple of tools. How to repair them. How to almost die from falling trees. How to, har how to harvest. Oh, I just got a tag for gathering. 
that does actually benefit you. I'll show you that. Accolades. So we just learned survival lumber gather. Collect 500 trees. Oh, I thought I thought it gave us a perk. I'm wrong. All right. Well, I am going to call it here for the first night. Here's home base. We've died once. We're level two. Moving it on to up at level five. Level five is where I promise I'll start making a base and we'll start touring around this place a little bit. But yes, yeah, so far. We've lived, we have not thrived, but we have lived. Going to go down for a little bit of water refresh. I don't want to drink it because you can get sick from it. And that's like a, a, a risk. Not all the time will you get sick, but you can sometimes. There's different ways to get... Uh, get water but that's the easiest win wave oh see we're overweight so as soon as I try to move my feet I'll be really burdened go far destroy that make maybe 10 arrows I might change our weight a little a huh, little bit what else should I do a wood pile. Let's see what that does. Oh, we can put wood right here. There, now we don't have to. carry the wood. Made two wood piles. All right, well, I'm going to call that one here. Heck of a view. Sweet birds surrounded in a beautiful landscape. Just trying to live from all those creepy noises. All right, well, thanks for watching. Have a great day.